This game is rated M and is intended for mature audiences. Good, Yuji. You gotta catch up on that sleep. When you visit a country where they speak a different language, there's one thing you should always learn first. Namely, the local phrase for thank you, or so my master taught me. Of course, my master was also such a half-assed human being that she usually didn't bother to learn anything else. Get thanks down first, then just make up the rest as you go along. I had plenty of good conversations in America using only thank you, dog, and pencil. Uh, I don't think so. When someone's that shamelessly sloppy about life, it's actually kind of charming. The woman had the brains of poultry, but while we're on the subject of English, chicken head is an insult you should usually try to avoid over here there. I am not even familiar with that insult. Say that to a woman, and you've implied that she spends a lot of time moving her head back and forth like a chicken pecking at feed. Today is supper. You like a fish? <laughs> yes! More English! <laughs> yes! Oh man, I, I love that. <laughs> oh man, is this English class? <laughs> oh, this is gonna be good. <laughs> yes! They're speaking English! <laughs> oh, this is good. <laughs> yes, fish. Are you okay? Honestly, Mitri's English is not that bad. Like, it's pretty good, actually. What you say? <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> I thought that was pretty understandable. Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> Why, yes, Makina. As a matter of fact, I am very happy right now. <laughs> Thank you for asking. This is golden. <laughs> uh, this is shaping up to be the best scene in the game. You too? <laughs> Are you gay too? There, we said it again, Michiru. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Looking no. I like fish. I'm rabbit. <laughs> this, this is amazing. <laughs> Honestly, again, like, they're, they're mispronouncing a couple of syllables, but their English is by and large pretty good. Like, honestly. <laughs> And Makina's speaking a, a, a jumble of English and Japanese. <laughs> she definitely did not say rabbit. Uh, hey, Amine! <laughs> that was adorable. They're doing like a little English lesson with each other. That that's that's very nice. Um, what exactly are those two doing over there? <laughs> Professor Makina. I feel like Makina was worse at English than Michiru was. Remedial class? Oh, poor Michiru. Makina? Teach? The idea of Makina teaching somebody is kind of bizarre. Yeah, indeed. いいかね。松島に散るといえば、ショパンをチョピンと読む女だぞ。そして私はアニマルを絵に持って発音する女だ。What?これはもう誰の目から見ても、私が教える側の人間であることは明白。まさに自明の力がまさに。Do you know what you're saying right now, Makina, or are you actually genuinely insulting yourself? <laughs> you're awfully full of yourself for someone who can't even pronounce. 
I don't even... Even I don't know how to pronounce that. Anomalocaris, properly. It's the name of the largest animal in existence during the Cambrian period. Machina, let's see what you've got. Wrong. Try again. Wrong. It's Anomalocaris. Once more. <laughs> oh, brother. Uh, feels bad, Machina. That, that was a really tricky word, though. Even I had to think about that. <laughs> what? You can't even handle halogen bulb? That's also a tough one. English is a tough language. I don't blame her. Even I have difficulty pronouncing English words, because there's very little rhyme or reason to them. There's so many exceptions to the pronunciation and grammar rules. Because English is basically like, hey, let's take the best parts of every other language, throw them together with no real structure. So, and also, we probably didn't take the best parts of each language. We just took the parts we liked. <laughs> In the uncensored version, Machina curses in adorably bad English here. Really? I'm, tr I'm trying to think what words she would say. Because, I mean, this game is still rated M, even if it's not... Even if it is the censored version, so she could absolutely drop the f bomb. I'm trying to think what what possible words she could have said that would make them cut it out. <laughs> it's just the f word. They easily they easily could have put that. They could put that in a T game. I think they could only put in one in a T game, but that's weird that they cut that out. I thought they just cut out, like, all the sex and nudity. <laughs> Spare me the temper tantrum. It's probably a side effect of a compression-based mnemonic method. She seems to be storing only the beginning and ending of each word for efficiency, so proper nouns and words with unusual middle syllables give her trouble. If she, do if she doesn't learn English phonics, it's going to be hard to learn how to pronounce words. <laughs> yes! Yes, more English lessons! <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, Michiru. You were doing great. <laughs> I'm sorry. Did she just say Yoshi? She did. <laughs> oh boy, are they gonna have a conversation about Amane? They cut out the heroin joke when Amane. I f they definitely still made a joke about drugs. Maybe the joke was dirtier in the uncensored version. That's weird. They cut out some very weird stuff, but I also cut out important stuff too. I know. So what? Hey, it's okay. <laughs> it's basic English conversation to mock, and she's she's trying her best. She's very lovely. Oh, well, that's not that's a nice thing to say. Matter of opinion, but that's a nice thing to say. It's right. Aw, that's actually kind of cute. By making her a lover, it's to become happy. <laughs> um, there's a lot of different ways you could interpret that. How about it? <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> ag ag agreed, Makita. What? What are you trying to say here? Uh, I I know English, and even I don't know what she's like. I don't. Even if she's saying the word like "lover of lover," I don't know what she's trying to say about that. Like that's not that that's nothing. <laughs> I love... Uh, how did they even think to make a joke, jokes like these, where, like, they're they're practicing English and mis... mis, mis 
just hearing what is said and making jokes out of that. This is golden. This is some of the best joke writing I've seen. <laughs> what? Again, what are you trying to say? <laughs> I don't even... Okay, th this might be why they say her English is terrible. I don't know what, she's gen what point she's trying to make here. Chiru looks like how proud of herself she is for doing this, and then Chipaka is just freaked out. <laughs> Hearing Makina curse is kind of funny, because you get the impression of just like this little kid with like a potty mouth, swearing like a sailor. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> What good is this doing? This isn't even a conversation. <laughs> uh, hey, Amine. <laughs> hmm? She meant lover of lovers isn't the best lover could be. I guess. It's still very weirdly worded. <laughs> that was too good. <laughs> is this really going to help her grades any? <laughs> well, maybe. I guess. The complete lack of coherent flow to their conversation is part of the problem. But Makina's English is honestly almost as bad as Michiru's. I feel like Michiru has better pronunciation than Makina, but she doesn't know how to word things. Her pronunciation is comically off, and she mixes in many weird phrases you won't hear over there. They say you shouldn't learn English from a non-native speaker. And this is a good case in point. Yeah, that's kind of true. <laughs> As you go along, eh? I suppose there are some people out there who can hold an entire conversation using only pencil, dog, and thank you. When it comes to English conversations, might as well just make it up as you go along. I guess that's the extent of our lesson for the day. Okay, that that was officially my favorite skit in the whole game. That was so funny. <laughs> that's the kind of humor I like! <laughs> It was genuinely really entertaining. <laughs> and very very clever of them to be able to write that. When you see a maid with her hands empty, call out to her. That's a line from an old movie I saw once. It basically means that a capable maid should be kept busy at all times. Excluding the bridesmaid, whose main responsibility is getting drunk at her friend's wedding. That is not the main responsibility. The essence of the maid is service. Her job is to anticipate her employer's actions and needs, then take care of the dirty work in advance. This generally involves tools of some kind, and so a maid who isn't carrying anything tends to be an idle, underemployed maid. You can apply the idea to other occupations as well. A good soldier always carries a well-maintained rifle, and a diligent student should always have a reference book or two on their person. In other words, be prepared! But in some cases, the opposite may also be true. As I've just discovered, there are certain maids who catch your attention when their hands are full rather than empty. Oh! This is the first time we're seeing, like, her whole sprite. Oh, that's very nice. <laughs> hey, Marty. <laughs> oh, M Marty, you just missed the funniest skit in the whole game. Like, I was... I actually laughed so hard I started coughing, like, uproariously. <laughs> It'll be up on YouTube. It, it involved them practicing bad English. Um, what's that sound? Are you making iced tea? The maid in question, Komenasachi, is as of fairly recently is my uh, as of fairly recently my classmate. Y yes, Marty, it was funny. Ooh, JJ Freeman, thank you for the follow. Welcome aboard. Glad to have you. <laughs> don't don't worry, Marty. I'll I'll port it up on you. I'll port the vod to YouTube sometime this coming week. <laughs> You'll be able to catch it. Just yesterday, we sat at our desks in the same classroom, pursuing our studies together. And now here she is, walking in my direction, dragging a metal bat roughly across the floor. 
Oh, that's the sound. I thought she was, like, pouring iced tea. Holy cow, we have ten viewers. Wow, thank you all. That's great. <laughs> what is this image? We just have Sachi metal bat in hand just dragging across the ground like, <laughs> any, any bank robbers best beware. <laughs> I'll deal with you. Or maybe she wants to join my backyard baseball team. In this country, where guns and bladed weapons are strictly prohibited, this is about as suspicious as it gets. Show this scene to 10,000 Japanese, and I think every one would mistake her for a dangerous person. <laughs> Doki Doki. <laughs> of course, I don't ha actually have any proof that assumption would be a mistake on, on their part. Maybe she really is planning to burst into someone's room and launch an attack. I feel like mm, Sachi would be the last of the characters to do that. Literally the last. So, who's the target? The skull and crossbones. <laughs> Unable to suppress my doubts, I call it to Sachi with the question foremost on my mind. She turns to face me with a blank expression of confusion. Her nonplussed face is enough to confirm that my worst suspicions were unfounded. My interrogation proceeds to the next logical point of inquiry. I'm not on anyone's route, Marty. I literally haven't made even one single decision in this VN. Everything up to this point has just been me reading text. What's that metal bat in your right hand? I don't know what that is. No, that's not... I wasn't asking for the brand. And your pronunciation was fine the first time. I just want to know why you have that metal bat in your hand. And what you intend to use it for. Uh, yes, Marty. I have heard that this is up there with Clannad for a long visual novels. However, I'm not planning on doing every route. <laughs> Just the ones that interest me. Closing her eyes, she nods in satisfaction at resolving the puzzle. Although, then again, I also wasn't necessarily planning on every route in Clannad, and we know how that turned out. I No, I'm not, Nick. I'm going to... I'm going to go on the Michiru route eventually, but I'm going to start with Sachi, I think. If I was having this conversation with someone from Ichigaya, we would have gotten to this point in two seconds or less. Communication between students, as you can see, is a comparatively involved and troublesome process. Are you going to... <laughs> Are you going to fight gang members? <laughs> Michiru asked for that? Is she planning to challenge Sakaki to a duel or something? I want to see that. Hmm. Your position inside the hierarchy of your commu community is established very quickly. For those determined to move up the ladder, single combat is a fairly common means of advancement. Since when? Like, maybe in old times, not anymore. Perhaps this is a good opportunity to witness such a moment of struggle. Ichigaya is the location of Japanese Ministry of Defense, if you didn't know. I did not know, as a matter of fact. Thank you for pointing that out. Mind if I come with you? Alright then, let's go. When we reach Michiru's room, Sachi knocks lightly on the door. <laughs> uh, cool. <laughs> With this brief, cryptic exchange of words, the door swings open. What the heck? <laughs> Aww, that's a cute smile. In the next moment, a shock of distinctive bleached gold hair springs out of uh, toward me. I don't remember doing anything warranting a hug from you, actually. I know the password now. <laughs> Michiru, what are you planning on doing with that bat? <laughs> oh, maybe she's practicing her baseball skills from last time. <laughs> why not? Just, why not? Just felt like seeing you, Michiru. Oh, she's blushing. <laughs> okay, she already is crushing on us. <laughs> I freaking love her facial expressions. <laughs> so, what exactly are you planning to use a metal bat for? 
She wants to join my Blue Lion house and Fire Emblem Free Houses. <laughs> I would totally take her. <laughs> Does a metal bat have any female specific applications? How many do you owe Sachi at this point? Like a hundred? With this exchange, Michiru quickly retreats back into her room and Sachi starts to walk off with a satisfied expression on her face. Sachi, aren't you interested in what Michiru plans to use that bat for? <laughs> Sachi, I need you to do something for me, no questions asked. <laughs> That's risky. I see. True, demonstrating the discretion to refrain from inquiring into the circumstances of your clients is a vital step towards establishing trusting business relationships. I am a robot. Beep boop, beep boop. Yeah, I'm loving free houses, Marty. I, it took me a little bit to get into it, but it is really fun. Very different from every other Fire Emblem game, but but I, I really like it. And I am st I still haven't beaten the Blue, Ryan, Blue Lion's Root. Sachi seems to view her responsibility as a class representative from an admirably professional perspective. Impressive, Sachi. You've exceeded my expectations again. Oh, she's blushing. She's She's crushing on us, too. Well, watching Sachi's face flush slightly red, I continue my questions. So, what's next on your schedule? Is that also part of your job as a class rep? Aww. I see. Seems that woman's been saving on labor costs by relying on volunteers for simple maintenance work. Next time you see the principal getting ready to push work on you, I think you should tell her the following. Come back after you fix that habit of baby talking to your pets. <laughs> Everyone crushes on the main boy because there is literally one boy. Hey, Konad had two boys, and nobody was crushing on Sunohara. Granted, because he was a dip, but also... Also, one more request. Would you mind if I continue observing your you work for a while? Are you creeping on Sachi again, dude? Something the matter? Oh, don't worry. Just like in the beginning of this stream, he's just going to bore out your face and only focus on your chest. No worries on that front. I've already been entertained enough to last me for a while. Honestly, though, Yuji is also a sleazy bleh. <laughs> Sachi tilts her head into the side in a gesture of pure bewilderment. The more time I spend around this girl, the more I realize that she's a natural airhead. The type's so oblivious she doesn't even realize she's missing out on everyone else's jokes. Or she's too nice to say anything. Alright, that's that. Don't mind me. I'll keep out of your way. <laughs> what was it? The puzzle piece transition. Upon entering the courtyard, Sachi immediately begins watering the rows of flowers. This is turning into Harvest Moon now. If you forget the strange fact that it's taking place in a Japanese school, this little scene of a maid caring for the flower beds is truly picturesque. Are those purple flowers verbenas? Ooh, I like this music. This is really gentle, and I don't, I don't think I've heard this song before, even though I've heard the soundtrack before. You're pretty knowledgeable. <laughs> I went to Nocturne Alley to get some flesh-eating slug repellent. <laughs> I see. You're a diligent one. Why does that freak you out? All of a sudden, Sachi stops moving her watering can. She bends down and opens a flower's bulb with her hands, carefully examining it. Something wrong? Hmm. This is really good music. Crouching down next to her to take a look, I quickly understand why she's so concerned. One of the flower's petals is almost entirely covered in white, as if someone's dusted it with powder. Looks like flower disease. <laughs> I love flower disease. <laughs> How do you make your face sparkle like that? Asking for a friend. At my words, Sachi looks at me with eyes full of anticipation. Sorry, but that doesn't mean it's become edible. It's more commonly known as powdery mildew disease. You see it a lot when you're growing wheat or grapes. 
It's caused by a parasitic fungus, so the most effective response would probably be using chemical fungicides on the affected plants. How do you just know this? If you ask the principal, I'm sure she'll get some for you. She looks like Potpourri from Harvest Moon if she was a maid with that expression. Sachi's better than Potpourri. What is it? Something on your mind? Oh wait, he reads a lot. Ah, not in particular. Guess I'm actually pretty similar to you in this respect, Sachi. Someone buddy told me to read books, and I've just been following those orders. After a while, a lot of random trivia just accumulated in my head. It does come in handy every so often. <laughs> Sachi doesn't respond to my words verbally, but her smile seems slightly brighter than usual. Uh-huh. That's nice. So, where are we headed next? That's so. Hi. If you try following her in there... The conversation comes to an abrupt end. We walk on in silence. <laughs> yeah, Popery has two low standards. You can give her weeds and she likes it. <laughs> Have someone with some self-respect. After a little while, we arrive in front of the girls' bathroom. Why did you walk to the bathroom? That's a little weird. Hey, Sashi, mind if I stop you for a second here? If we take another step forward here, I'm going to be trespassing in the girls' bathroom. Yeah, so don't take another step in. And you don't have a problem with that? Sachi, we were just talking about girls needing self-respect. You, 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 you don't stand for this. You don't say! Yes! Seems she at least understands that a man entering a female restroom is not generally considered acceptable. One bathroom break later. So, next up is cleaning the grand bathroom. <laughs> I love the little effects that this VN has, like making the effect here echo, making characters' voices trail off as they move away. It's really good. You planning to do it by yourself today, as usual? Honestly, I'm still not sure if you're not a robot. True. Don't think I can help you on that front myself. That said, she could at least try asking one of the others for assistance once in a while. Maybe it has something to do with her firm set of beliefs about her responsibilities as class representative. <laughs> Next semester, there's going to be a different class representative, and she's going to be like, why is the class representative not cleaning the bathroom every week? Why are you so stern, Sachi? While I'm pondering the matter, Sachi has already calmly begun her work. After stopping the hot water that's constantly trickling into the oversized bath, she begins to lightly rinse the other areas of the bathroom using a shower head. From the quick, confident movements of her hands, it's obvious that she's repeated this procedure many, many times. It's pretty clear that Michiru or Amine helping is a rare event. I think she's effectively been cleaning this place all by herself for a long time now. <laughs> yeah, even like the little things like this where her... her sprite moves to simulate her sweeping or mopping is great. Hmm. Since I did tell Sachi I'd stay out of her way, it was my intention not to interfere with her work as much as possible, but just standing here and watching as my classmate does manual labor feels pretty awkward. Hey, Sachi. Hi. This is just an offer, but how about I help you out as well? I know, but I want to help. Yeah, but I'd like to help, as long as I wouldn't get in the way. What do you say? Mm. What a romantic first date. <laughs> what kind of a being do you think I am? Unfortunately, I don't have any supernatural skills. But I do have some confidence in my basic physical capabilities. <laughs> sure thing, baby. Sure. Okay, let's get down to it. Your orders? <sighs> What's wrong? 
Well, good, good. <laughs> You're a wizard, Yuji. <laughs> I see. In that case, you want me to give the commands? <laughs> Be a man. Got it. We're dividing the bathroom into two halves. Sachi, continue to work in that area from the entrance to the right wall. I'll assume responsibility for the left half. Our objective will be to finish the work in 15 minutes. Is that acceptable? Yes, sir. <laughs> A good response. <laughs> that was more than 15 minutes. It's the dead of night now. Having completed the division of labor, I quietly move my brush along the tiled floor, precisely imitating Sachi's movements as I observed them earlier. Throwing yourself into a mindless task like this every once in a while isn't such a bad thing. Helps maintain your ability to concentrate. <laughs> Sachi lets out a small cry, and there's the sound of something toppling over. Was that... Oh no. Was that Yumiko's drum set? Oh no, she's gonna be mad. When I turn around, I find Sachi sitting on her backside on the bathroom floor. She seems somewhat dazed. You planning to clean the floor with your clothes instead of the brush? No. <laughs> The school Marty does have a great view of the shore, from what I've seen. What's up, Ninja Fan? How you doing? In a gesture that's growing increasingly familiar to me, Sachi nods her head vigorously several times. It seems to be a sign she's absorbing a new idea. So, first fiends first. Any injuries? Never played Roblox in my life. That's not a problem. Let's continue the job. I reach out my hand to Sachi, who hasn't budged from the bathroom floor during this conversation. Oi. After helping Sachi do her feet and confirming that she's alright, I return to my own work. <laughs> yes, Florin, it is a bathroom, but it's a but the bathroom is has a nice view of the ocean. Phew! But seriously, the more you look at this gigantic bathroom, the more it seems out of place in a student dormitory. Yeah, this is way nicer than any bath I've, like, ever seen. It's sizable enough that even a grown man would likely get tired trying to clean it alone. <laughs> oh no! Then again, this academy is dramatically over-equipped in nearly every respect, considering the tiny number of students currently enrolled here. If there's one thing I know about <laughs> visual novels and anime stereotypes, it's that a single sneeze is invocative of a serious disease. Hey, that rhymed. The one area that they show moderate restraint is the small faculty. <sighs> but even then, every class is led by a lecturer with special expertise in their particular field. Oh, okay, so there are normal teachers. It's not just the principal. Well, I suppose the economic efficiency of this place isn't really my problem. Oh no, Sachi. <laughs> Don't die. <laughs> What's with that chirping? Do we have a sparrow trapped in here? Why are you in your underwear again?! Good lord, th this game needs to stop it with the girls in their underwear. When I turn back in the uh, search of the wayward songbird, I find Sachi in an inexplicable state of undress. What on earth are you wearing? Sachi! Huh, she's got her bra on as well, so I think underwear would be a more precise description. No, see, I was asking... I was trying to ask why you had taken off your maid uniform. Oh my gosh. This, and the, these moments add nothing to the game? No. And so you wrapped your uniform around the head of the brush and started dragging it across the floor? I'm pretty sure you can't have blatant nudity in an M-rated game. Maybe I'm wrong. Ugh, I suppose her clothes brush is contacting more of the floor at once than the standard version. But I'm more than a little dubious about how effective a cleaning instrument it is. Um, I'm more dubious as to why she decided to take off her clothes in front of a guy. In exchange, you're standing around in your underwear in front of a member of the opposite sex. Any thoughts on that? Don't make it. <laughs> Oh, I hope. I hope not. If there's any nudity in this game, I, I'm stopping. <laughs> Sorry, but I'm not familiar with that language of the sparrows. You, you can't have sex in an M-rated game, I know that. Rated M is rated R. More or less. Alright. 
I feel like maybe you can have part, like, some nudity. Well, not for me. I'm not the sort to complain about a free show. Also, if there's any part where... If there's any part where there is nudity, uh, Twitch will ban me. Because you're not allowed to stream nudity on Twitch, thank goodness. Otherwise, it would quickly turn into a very different site. As soon as the words are out of her mouth, Sachi gets back to work completely nonchalant. Put on some clothes! Veins have gotten troublesome all of a sudden. There may not be any major problems at present, but if, say, Amine were to walk in right now, I think there's a good possibility I'd get dragged into an interrogation even lengthier than the one that followed the JB incident. <laughs> oh, Yumiko came in instead. Oh, well, we're about to die. At this point, I noticed Sakaki standing frozen just inside the entrance. Hey, rabbit! Just wanted to see how things are going! <laughs> Planning to take a bath in your clothes? Even as she spits out her retort, Sakaki's suspicious glare stays good to Sachi and her bizarre appearance. Yes, why? I did! No, actually, no, I absolutely did a couple of streams ago. I'm like, you should show your underwear more. And then he's like, I can't believe this backfired. Like, how was I supposed to know she would come to school in her underwear? <sighs> Hold on, Sachi. There are a number of problems with your attempt at explaining the situation. Yumiko remembers when she came in in her underwear. When she came to school in her underwear. Prior offender? Oh, you're talking about that time she came to school in her underwear. Yeah, what else would she be thinking of? And there's the sound of the box cutter. Sakaki reaches into the pocket of her skirt and retrieves the usual item. So she carries her self-defense stationary with her even into the bath. A truly cautious individual, Sachi could learn a thing or two from her example. I think I've mentioned this before, but that thing isn't going to work on me. <laughs> That's when Yumiko takes out her machine gun. As for the reason Sachi's in her underwear, she decided this would be a more efficient method of cleaning and took off her clothes of her own initiative. So... You, you just believe that, Yumiko? Although I offered my explanation fully expecting it to be rejected, Sakaki accepts my words surprisingly easily. Yumiko is weird, but honestly, she's grown on me. She's honestly fairly normal, at least as far as these characters are concerned. It seems she's familiar enough with Sachi's lack of common sense that a bizarre story like this sounds perfectly plausible. So anyway, the Grand Bath is reserved for cleaning at the moment. <clears throat> at this announcement, Sakaki abruptly turns and walks out of the bathroom, her long hair streaming behind her. <laughs> as for Sachi, she's already restarted her cleaning as if nothing had happened. Hmm... The females in this school seem to be somewhat lacking in the shame department. Amen! Or perhaps my preconceptions on this matter are as old-fashioned as wearing a pap pager on your hip? Maybe this is just the way things are nowadays. Well, if so, that's that's a sad state of the world. It seems like I've still got quite a lot to learn. Sachi, you're really something. In a lot of ways. Oh, I have a truly unlimited number of unresolved questions here, but one in particular stands out. Why is it that this girl can strip to her underwear in front of a man without even batting an eyelid, but blushes bright red when you give her anything resembling a compliment? Female thought processes are truly complex. In this way, a day spent in close observation of my classmate comes to an end. And starting the very next day, there's a clear change in my environment, hopefully with less underwear involved. Seriously, I it, can we just can we just stop it with the girl? Oh look, the girls are in their underwear. Isn't this great? Because no, it's not. Specifically, this. Sachi has suddenly moved from her habitual seat directly in front of the teacher's podium to the desk immediately next to mine. Aww. Not that she started pressing her blubber against me, Amine style. She's just changed her seat. I much prefer that. That's sweet. Not a particularly dramatic event, really. <laughs> Actually, I don't owe you squat. <laughs> I'd like to hear an explanation myself, honestly. But first of all, can you stop interrogating me as if I'm an unfaithful husband? But this small change seems to have taken everyone around me by surprise, prompting general curiosity. People don't like giving up their seats, that's part of it. <laughs> Why was that your first thought? 
<laughs> also, I love how Michu has the point down. I want you to tell me why Sachi's sitting next to me. Oh, an interesting scenario. Where would things go from there? I didn't make you say that. Is, yes, Marty, that is the girl that went to buy strawberries from the questionable man. In fact, Amine has a lot of nerve being like, how, how, what is up with you with having Sachi sit next to you? That's gross when she has literally sexually assaulted us multiple times. I don't remember making you reveal your sick and twisted mind. <laughs> Way to just ask. As Makina plunges into the heart of the matter, the other two Inquisitors each catch their breath in anticipation. That's like one of those unwritten school rules. Once a guy has seen a girl in her underwear twice, she has to sit next to him in school. That's not a thing. Ah, that's kind of sweet. Hmm. And why exactly would she suddenly prefer this seat? Because she has a crush. For some reason, even though we're terrible. Was nearly walking into a girl's bathroom together that much of a bonding experience? Oh, I wish she said that out loud. <laughs> yep. What an embarrassing question you just asked. <laughs> Having grasped the nature of the question, Sachi closes her eyes and thought. <laughs> Marty, you also missed a skit involving Michiru's fanny pack, <laughs> where Yuji accidentally said he wanted one of his own. <laughs> it was great. <laughs> also, we just got super snubbed by Sachi. <laughs> it's like, oh, do you like Yuji? Not really, no. Ooh! We just got snubbed, guys! <laughs> Maybe we can't do the Sachi route first. <laughs> Everyone else is like, Good! Good! Kill him, Anakin! <laughs> At the moment, that's the key phrase. Sachi simply answers the questions put to her in a steady, bland tone of voice. That hasn't changed at all from the day I met her. Or maybe she does have feelings for us, but doesn't want to confess them in front of absolutely everybody. Yeah, before I even made my move. That's a new record. Well, hey, girls, I have three sides. I don't have four sides, because the anime protagonist always has to sit next to the window. There's a slight smile on Sachi's face as she speaks. I'm pretty confident she's speaking of complete honesty. <laughs> Yumiko picking up on the real matters. <laughs> Yumiko's like, still, that doesn't mean that he's <laughs> that he's on the table yet. I spent the entire day with her yesterday, but Sachi's thoughts are still beyond my understanding. But it seems clear that her opinion of me has undergone a subtle change of some sort. Hey, girl. <laughs> oh no, Sachi, no! <laughs> Don't listen to us! Oh no. I can't tell if this is going to end with Sachi in tears, the principal in tears, or both of us. We told her to say that, Marty. The only reason she's saying that, we... we <laughs> the only reason that Sachi's saying that is we're like, Hey, like, you know, the principal's just exploiting you for free labor. Next time she asks you to do something, you should tell her this. <laughs> Although, admittedly, Sachi was, like, ridiculously mean to Michiru, like, recently. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
Uh oh, I think the principal's gonna cry. 